Gentlemen, take your seats. Where's Captain Carter? Just arriving, sir. Carter? I'm assigning Sam Carter to this mission. I'd prefer to put together my own team, sir. Not on this mission. Sorry. Carter's our expert on Stargate. Where is he transferring from? She is transferring from the Pentagon. I take it you're Colonel O'Neill. Captain Samantha Carter reporting, sir. But of course you go by Sam. You don't have to worry, Major. I played with dolls when I was a kid. G.I. Joe? Oh, Major Matt Mason. Oh. Who? Oh. Major Matt Mason, astronaut doll. Do you have that cool little backpack that made him fly? Let's get started. Colonel? Thank you. For those of you on your first trip through the gate, you should be prepared for what to expect. I've practically memorized your report from the first mission. I'd like to think I've been preparing for this all my life. I think what the Colonel is saying is, have you ever pulled out of a simulated bombing run in an F-16 at 8 plus Gs? Yes. Well, it's way worse than that. By the time you get to the other side, you're frozen stiff. Like you've just been through a blizzard. Naked. That's a result of the compression your molecules undergo during the millisecond required for reconstitution. Oh, here we go. Another scientist. General, please. Theoretical astrophysicist. Which means? Which means she is smarter than you are, Colonel. <laughs> Especially in matters related to the Stargate. <laughs> Colonel, I was studying the gate technology for two years before Daniel Jackson made it work and before you both went through. I should have gone through then. And, sir, you and your men might as well accept the fact that I am going through this time. Well, with all due respect, Doctor, I would. It is appropriate to refer to a person by their rank, not their salutation. You should call me Captain, not Doctor. Captain Carter's assignment to this unit is not an option, it's an order. I'm an Air Force officer just like you are, Colonel. And just because my reproductive organs are on the inside instead of the outside, doesn't mean I can't handle whatever you can handle. <laughs> oh, this has nothing to do with you being a woman. <clears throat> I like women. I've just got a little problem with scientists. <laughs> 